I know. It's okay. I know. Donna, you dropped my shoe, buddy. I know. I know, Gunner. It's all right. Some chickens over there. Some more chickens. I see a red ball. Huh. I think it's a red ball. What are you barking at, Gunner? I heard you bark, buddy. Gray. Hello, Gray. Gray, Elvis. Hello. Huh. What this red ball's doing here? Oh, it's a kickball. Huh. Well, let's see how far we can kick this kickball. We don't hit the pioneer. Hit a tree. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that scared the little chickens. That scared the little chickens? Huh, Mrs. Gray? Oh, thanks for pooping, Mrs. Gray. Okay. Eggs. Lots of them. Uh, oh, uh, actually, I don't want Gunner to come by into that mouse trap. Huh, Mary? Let's get some corn. Oh, you flapping your wings? Some corn. Oh, big boy Gunner came by. Huh, Gunner? Corn. Rusty. Oh, I guess they're scared of corn now. How are you guys scared of corn, huh? You? Somebody must have picked up this watermelon, Ryan. They didn't even eat it all. They didn't even eat it all. Look at that. Nope. Look at that. So much meat on that. Oh, darn it. Steak. <laughs> Look at all the meat on that, Rusty. There's tons of meat on that. Yeah, Mary? Okay, I'm sure you guys... Oh, Gunner. Where'd you run, buddy? You in the woods? Okay. Oh, Pipsqueak's getting chased after. Well, uh... I don't even really know the point of this video. I'll just, um... I guess... Chickens are 13 weeks now. I guess that's pretty much... The video um huh. um there's some chickens up on top of this hill oh wow you get a pretty pretty good view up here it's like really tall into the woods oh wow <laughs> it's really tall looking this way huh gunner gunner come here come on See if you can get up here. Come on. Oh, like, like it's nothing. I might fall. That probably won't be good if I do fall. Well, the chickens are somewhere in there. They're 13 weeks old. They'll probably be laying in a month or so. Oh, it's crazy to think, Gunner. They're going to be laying in a month, buddy. It's like weeds that are starting to grow on top of this hill. Oh, did you walk through that water, Gunner? I see your... Gunner! What are you doing? That was a natural water spring, and now you're just draining it all. The little chickens are probably drinking out of that. They, they're usually out throughout the day, because they can get through the... the They find ways to get through the fence, because I mean, they're still pretty small, but... They're big, but they're... Not full-grown sized yet. I'm assuming in the next two weeks they'll be full-sized, so they still manage to find the way out. But, um, yeah, I guess just doing some maintenance and stuff. I'm going to go show you guys the fence. Rusty, anybody want to come see the fence with me? Angel? Oh, Mary? Oh, it's okay, Mary. Oh, Mary? It's all right. Oh, oh, Mary, Mary, don't, I don't want to hurt your wings, okay? Yeah, Mary? Burp. 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 
Um, yeah, I even had to pound a new laugh in. Um, over here. So all I was doing is I was, I'd pull the fence together. I'd put it inside the the lath because you can see there's two lath. I just screwed two lath. In between it is there's fencing. And it's really tight and it keeps it all in because he, Gunner, was in the fence. He was jumping in there. Um, there'll be some zucchinis and stuff in here. Um, the weeds really grew up in here and I was only hoeing around the plants and I finally hoed around and just road tilled everything. And, um, hopefully it's better. I don't know. Mary, I know. Oh, rooster, he's freaking out. Um, oh no, yeah, see these are, are those cucumbers, people? Tell me. Because why does it look like there's a cucumber on the end? Oh, there's weeds in the way. I should go back through and weed all this out, but. Um, I'm thinking it's zucchini. Oh, okay, they're fighting. Oh. Hey, no, Gunner, you get out. Gunner, Gunner, get out. No! Gunner! Oh, Gunner. Hey, come on, let's go. Back the way you came. Don't walk over the plants, okay? Gunner! Gunner! Come here! Come on! Get out! Oh, it sucks that he was. Fence must have came down. I can. I hooked it over this little piece of lath, so hopefully that doesn't break. That shouldn't come off. And I did that a lot, a little bit everywhere, but um, these these clumps, those are the beans or peas, and I, I. Oh, peas, perfect. We'll take a couple in. Perfect. These are. Peas. Um, so those must be beans and oh no, those are snap peas too. I don't know, I don't know what's well, I don't know what is what. But um we got some tomatoes growing, but they're I, I don't know where the things are. I was trying to look for them and we haven't bought any for them yet. So um well, whatever that is is well, it's kind of taking every, everything's nutrients, but, um, oh, there must be a pepper plant that's, well, that sucks. It's probably Gunner. We got them, there's, you can maybe see they're starting to turn. Maybe this one's starting to turn, I don't know. What do we plant here? I don't even know what this is. Is that lettuce? I, I'm not even... Not even sure. I should go back through and rotate these rows again. This stuff's starting to flower, but nothing. What's my watermelon doing like? Oh, but it's flowering. Okay. It's still got to grow a little bit. I got to come, come through and pick all the weeds out of it. Everything, uh, everything just really got overgrown in about a week. I didn't really look at the garden that good, so a week... It was, everything was perfect. A week later, like a week and a half later, everything was a foot tall. And it was and the road tear was getting all clumped up and everything. So um we'll see, can we get a couple more? Oh, well, those don't look quite ready yet. There might be some in here like this one. That's definitely ready. Oh, the ends are off some of these. This one's ready. And this one's ready. I'll just take these couple in. Um, these must be the snap peas. And these must be, are these green beans? I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what these are. I think they're peas. I think these are, these are like snap peas and these are like, I don't know. I actually, I, like, like I said, I don't know what's really in our garden. We got some cucumber plants and I don't even see 
Because middle of the way road Italian Gunner must have trampled over that one. But uh yeah, it's good we got some produce from our garden. We'll get a little thumbnail. The garden's producing. That's pretty good. We it's pretty good, isn't it, Gunner? Unless you trampled a couple of stuff. That's no, that's not good. No, that's a bad duck. But uh yeah, I guess, oh, is that a chicken on a stump? It is a chicken on a stump. All right, well, I'm going to go set these on the cupboard. That's pretty good. I think they're good to eat. Grabbed a couple. I mean, they're a lot longer than all the other ones, so. All right, well, this stuff, we don't need the trailer anymore because, well, I, uh, nobody really knows, but my father's got a new office, and, we're doing renovating and stuff uptown for it. We had to park the trailer in the garage last night because there was a bunch of hail and stuff. And was there hail and a lot of rain? No, it rained for about 15 minutes and it was a really light, you know, really light dribble. But this pallet of stuff, we're putting this on one of the walls of our office, this nice brick stuff because it's a two, two, like there's, I'm driving on top, and there was wood down on the bottom, I think. Or there's something down on the bottom. I don't know what it was. On the bottom, we're putting the stone. And, um, <clears throat> I guess supposedly it looks good, right, Gunner? What are you looking at, Gunner? Is there a rabbit? Gunner, come on. Let's go get this rabbit. Go get him. Go fetch him up, buddy. Go fetch him up. Go fetch him up. <laughs> All right, Gunner, come on. Leave the rabbit alone, buddy. Uh, we still got the boat and everything. I guess, um, uh, I guess I, I mean, I really hate to have to start this up and say I'm in Mexico, so that can stay. That can stay. Um, but what do you think, Gunner? Huh? The old pioneer. I'm sure people wanting an update. How many miles this sucker has? 800, well, I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm shutting this off because I, 870, well, actually, I can let this, I'll start this up and let it run. Let's go listen to the exhaust on it because I'm probably going to park it for the night. I might drive it around a little bit around the yard, but. Yeah, the old Pioneer. She gets the job done. Um. We're in Mexico, guys. We're in Mexico today, so let's see. Um, 773 miles since the oil change has been changed. 80.4 hours on it. And if any of you are wondering why... Okay, I'm gonna... If any of you are trying to... If any of you are wondering why you have this, like, light, or, like, um, that thing down there, I think, here, let me zoom in, I think you can reset it just by holding this, but it's just the very first initial, like, break-in thing that you're supposed to get rid of, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna work, but 878 hours on it, we're in Mexico on private property today, folks, come on, Gunner, um, we could drive by the chickens and go scare them real quick. No, I don't want to hit you, buddy. You got to move out of my way, okay? Uh-oh. That's weird. I've never had that thing. I've never had that happen. It just, like, shifted out of the gear. That was weird. Huh. Never had that happen before. You like my ride? Huh? You like my ride? I see you, Mrs. Gray. I see you back there, Pipsqueak. Y'all like my ride? It's a pretty nice ride, isn't it? It's the old Honda Pioneer 1000 six seater. Yeah. Spot's impressed. Rip was flapping his wings. He's impressed. The hens, they don't really care. I think Mary cares, though. She's she's looking at it. Are you looking at it? Uh, what's your name? Elvis? You looking at it, Elvis? Or are you just looking at something to eat? All right, I'll let your chickens be. Yeah, um, I haven't really been driving this thing much. We're going to go take a, a vacation up north, and um, I was 
told not to drive this because we were supposed to take this. So I would probably average about 100 miles on it a month. And I haven't rode, driven it for a month because if it was, if it'd been a month, it'd probably have about a thousand miles on it. And it, we have to change it at like 1,200. So that's, it, it, I mean, it kind of sucks. I get it, but actually let's, let's get the mail. I, uh, we're still on private property, everybody. Don't worry. I just can't show you. I just can't risk it, you know? Can't risk it for a biscuit. trails for like a pickup if your trails are already cut for a pickup in your woods and yeah I'd get this thing totally but our trails are only cut for four of and we had to kind of cut this I guess they're cut for our mule and that's a little bit wider than the four-wheeler pretty much the same size as a four-wheeler and if um, you really you had to cut your trails for a pickup I mean, not a four to or eight foot long bed pickup, but you know, just a pickup. You had to cut for a pickup for this thing to even get through. So, or if you're cutting it to fit this through, you might as well cut it, make it eight inches longer or six inches longer and be able to fit your pickup through there. I guess that's the way I take it, but. Watch out, Gunner. Wish I had a horn. I think don't have a horn. Oh, well. Okay, move ladies. I don't want to hit ya. We got a fence here. I don't want to hit that either. Oh, oh how's our lettuce looking? Eh, it's okay. What's that purple stuff? I think that's lettuce too. I'm not sure. There's supposed to be... Oh, roosters are mad. Huh? Um, I don't think any asparagus is growing in there. We got, um, whatever this stuff is. I know what it is, I just, it's asparagus. I just said it, Holly. Huh, Gunner? We got some rhubarb right there, and we got some lavender, which I need to weed through all that so it can kind of grow. And the funny thing is, is where it's not weeded, it grows really good, and where it's weeded, it doesn't grow good, so. It could be just from the water not getting to the garden or something, but. Um, you girls still up there? You really don't want to go get some snacks or something? Susan's like, no, I don't. I'm good, man. I'm a chicken on a stump. I don't mind. Well, we'll, uh, we'll take the Pioneer around the yard. Take her a lap around the yard, and then uh, I'll be out of here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and bell post notifications. Let's hit a little bump right here at the Pioneer. Like butter, like butter. This thing is a really nice machine. So if you're looking for a Honda Pioneer, if you have a hard door side by side, wait on the Honda Pioneer because there are, I think, coming out for a hard door. It's, I know Honda is, they just haven't announced it yet. But um, if you want a Honda Pioneer and you don't care if it has hard doors or not, then get this. Totally, as a car transport.
transmission net so you don't have to deal with belts. Hondas are Hondas. What well, I mean that's you know what else can I say? But we'll pull this thing into the garage. We'll end the video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did make sure you guys like, subscribe to the bell push notifications. And uh catch you guys catch you all next time on Wade Fox.